did you pick UTEP? Why did we win first place? Well, UTEP was far and away the most exciting proposal we saw. They have a very interesting mission to be able to repair potentially solar panels on satellites that are already in orbit. So the mission was exciting. The ingenuity of their technical solution really struck us as something special. And as I said in my remarks a few moments ago, we were really, really impressed with the K through 12 STEM outreach element of their program because those three elements are really equally as important to us. So now for those who don't know about space travel and uh, everything, why, what will they now get to do? What will happen with their proposal and with Sure. Future? So what they're doing right now is actually designing that CubeSat, that small satellite, and then they will fabricate it, test it, certify it because it has to be safe on orbit. It is going to be on a gigantic Atlas rocket attached to our upper stage underneath another primary payload that will be a very expensive spacecraft. So they'll make sure that it'll work and it'll be safe and that it will be able to be deployed and then we're going to take them to space and we're going to put them in orbit. The first time a CubeSat has been in an orbit like this, they're going to what we call a geosynchronous transfer orbit, which is a very highly elliptical orbit that peaks out at over 22,000 miles from Earth and then comes back closer to Earth, goes around through the Van Allen belt several times to so a very hostile radiation environment and kind of a very exciting opportunity for a university CubeSat to be a part of and to really be a trailblazer. That's exciting. Is the Atlas a manned mission or are they just this will, this will be an unmanned Atlas mission. Do they, are, are they bringing stuff to the ISS, uh, materials? No, actually it's far, far above the International Space Station. So that orbits around a thousand miles above the Earth. We're going all the way out, 22,000 miles. And so they're going to go way past that. We'll deliver likely a communications satellite out to that very high orbit and then we'll drop off the CubeSats to do their completely separate mission. Very cool. What do you see for the future? Obviously this, the next couple of years are going to be big in uh, mm -hmm. space and engineering and uh, experiments here. What do you see for the future of El Paso and UTEP as a part of what you guys are doing? Well, I have been so impressed by what I've seen here at UTEP. What a tremendous academic program and a noble mission creating this open access to higher education. The laboratories that I've seen, the students I've talked to have impressed me to no end. I foresee a bright future for materials research here, CubeSats, propulsion, all sorts of space applications, and I think ULA and UTEP are going to be very, very good friends. And lastly, um, future employees maybe? Here? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I, I collected a few names today. <laughs> okay, anything else you'd like to add, sir? I just want to say how exciting it is to be here and how wonderful the hospitality has been, and I will be back. Okay, all right.